Dr. Walt Parks teaches ag at Bleckley County High School. He's been doing that for more than 20 years and says there's nothing else he'd rather do. I originally wanted to be a professor at a, a university teaching uh, in a, in a university setting and doing agricultural research. Uh, when I got through with my master's degree, uh, I wanted to get closer to my parents. And so I found a job in ag education as a young farmer teacher. And uh, after a couple of days with it, I fell in love with it. Uh, I found that it was my true calling, my passion. His colleague, Mr. Lonnie Giddens, decided he wanted to teach ag because a former teacher helped him grow a love of agriculture. I got involved early on in, in ninth grade, and I went to Mary Persons High School. My ag teacher was Bill Waldrop, and just going on these FFA competitions and trips, I was like, I really, I really do enjoy this. Now, both these teachers present their students with lessons in ag that are both comprehensive and practical. Even though some in education really push college, uh, we push careers. And this course is one example of the way Bleckley County is preparing its students to go to work after graduation if they choose. Welcome to Ag Mechanics One. Here students learn about welding, wiring, and a whole lot more. All skills that help them in the workforce. For this group of students, this fourth period lesson runs on electricity. I'm doing a three-way switch. Nehemiah Mack says he'll take these lessons with him after high school. The basics of wiring, welding, and cutting metal, and um, you know, other things that can help you out in the real world when you can't really call nobody else to do it for you. His classmates agree they're learning valuable skills. I'm doing a GFCI lab. I'm doing a GFCI. That's short for a ground fault circuit interrupter, an outlet that protects people from getting shocked. He grades us like if we got uh, got like our boxes or uh, grounds and everything, if we got them right. And when it comes to grading, Dr. Parks holds his students to industry standards. It's a uh, 50 ton press, and so it's testing the well to see if it's a good weld and it's going to have uh, the ability to hold when you put a lot of pressure on it, uh, this young man here is picking it up real quick, so I'm real proud of him. This is only his first time uh, welding in the last three weeks, I guess, and he's doing this well. He's doing a real good job. While these students work away in the shop, Mr. Giddens' lesson for his ag science students requires going outside. So right now we're doing what's called compass and pacing. So they're shooting two points and then they have to walk using what's called step factor to find the distance of those points. We use this to kind of simulate what a land surveyor would do. And they also use this a lot in the military. We use a mathematical formula to take steps and figure out how many feet you are walking without a tape measure. It sounds a lot harder than it is. It's actually really simple. You just have to pay attention. All this learning, it's not happening just because it's National FFA Week. It's an everyday thing at Bleckley County High School, and it's influencing the next generation. Joni Only is an example. So I actually live on a smallish farm. We deal with cows and poultry. Joni's brother joined FFA, and from that, she became interested in the possibilities. And so I'm actually on course to become a gate warden now. Being able to work hands-on, people are actually able to experience it and understand why we're doing it. And that understanding, says the Bleckley County High School Ag Teachers, is what it's all about. On the farm, I'm Greg Lloyd.